Well, I do think we need to mention this, although it's it's a really unsurprising thing. If you paid close attention to the lawsuit against Lane Kiffin and Ole Miss football from a, uh, although former but current kind of player, DeSanto Rollins, um, if you read it and and looked at it with an objective mind, you knew that this was the inevitable outcome, but the outcome came nonetheless. That lawsuit was dismissed uh, yesterday. So so that news broke yesterday that, uh, um, unsurprisingly so, Lane Kiffin and Ole Miss will not be having to pay $40 million uh, to a player uh, that wants to be reinstated to the team and also choose the position he wants to play on said team. Hey, Dan, if you read the lawsuit hoping with on hope that everything in it was true, even you knew it was going to be dismissed, right? There was never any question in my mind. My, 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 I thought that if you're saying a best-case scenario because you don't like Ole Miss – the best case scenario is going to be like Kiffin would have to issue some sort of apology and maybe he gets somehow, I don't think he's reinstated. I don't, I don't know, but that's something along those lines. Right. But the idea that Lane Kiffin or that Ole Miss is going to have to pony up $40 million and just reinstate this guy and make him a starter or whatever. Nobody with a working brain could have thought that. So no, I, I, I never, I never got my hopes up for this one. I was a lot more excited about the Alabama job opening up than anything else. You, you did not hit your wagon to this shooting star. I did not. I did not. Hmm. No, I, and, you know, the, the other side of this is, I, I honestly, th- there's part of me that really feels bad uh, for, for the player because, you know, we've all been that age before. I didn't make the smartest, most rational decisions all the time. I, I didn't always do things that would help set me up for a better future all the time. I didn't think – I mean, the only thought that I had when I was 20 is where my next drink is coming from. What bar am I going to tonight? What party am I going to? I certainly didn't think about things that would affect me 10, 15, 20 years down the road. But there were a handful of adults in that dude's life that didn't stop him. And you would think encourage this considering he hired an attorney and filed this suit and – compared his situation and has to that. And apparently appealed the ruling to the Fifth Circuit. And, and it, that'll lose again. Um, I mean, he even went so far as comparing his situation to that of a teammate's father passing away. Uh, uh, there are a lot of adults in this dude's life that should have said no, that didn't say no. And now what football team is going to want him on their team, knowing that they're going to have to walk on eggshells to the 10th degree and if I'm an employer, I'm not hiring somebody that filed a lawsuit like that against me, something so frivolous that it got thrown out the, the, in the manner in which it did. Th- this will affect his future for a very, very long time, and there were people in his life that didn't tell him no. And that's a shame. Yeah. It is. But... Don't you have to also own it a little bit? Of course. Of course. I'm not I'm absolving him from responsibility. Uh, absolutely not. Other people are also responsible, too, I guess is what I'm saying. This, this, the, 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 the crux of this matter was, was mental health, correct? That he, he felt like yes. Ole Miss did not provide yes. a, an atmosphere. Well, then, in that case, perhaps this young man needs some help. This young man needs somebody to help him because – that that I, announcing a forty million dollar lawsuit, it with these circumstances is a cry for help. So I hope this young man gets the help he needs and turns his life around, and and gets going in the right direction. The judge in the case, um, Michael Wills, in the U.S. District Court for the Northern District of Mississippi, said in his ruling, the evidence shows that it was up to Rollins when or if he resumed teams at team activities. The decision was entirely own, uh, his own. He wrote that claims of Kiffin's negligence, quote, fails because Rollins made no showing of discriminatory intent and also says that Kiffin's conduct in the meetings was more immature than going beyond the bounds of decency. The Santo Rollins thing is a mess, but that's over now. Yeah. I mean, I guess there will be an appeal, and at some point there's going to be a footnote to a story 
where the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals overturned it as well, and it's probably going to come to an end. I think it's just kind of where you are at this point. Pretty much. And, and that's, you know, we don't need to spend much more time on it, but I did think it was worth bringing up the fact that, hey, remember that happened. Bo- both the first filing and the leaking of the conversation that was recorded between he and Kiffin were leaked at strategically opportune times during the season. So it became kind of a high-profile story as a result of the timing of the filings. And, of course, Lane Kiffin's name is going to just generate whatever. Um, But now we have seen the end. So...